we're curious about your workflow, um, or sort of how, how does it work? Interesting question. How does it work? <laughs> how does it all work? You've got your collaborations, you're active online almost every day, you're also producing right. high quality long form. Right. Pull, Actually, Frontline's really small. We seem so big. I always talk about our brand as this big red brand, and actually we're quite small. I think it's to our benefit that we're small, because it's almost as if we can manage everything more easily because we're so small. So we have a very um, amazing group of filmmakers, um, and we have a ton of new people working with us now, so new filmmakers who have come to work for us in the number of years, the last three or four years. We have um, more new filmmakers than ever, which is really exciting. So the filmmaking core is external to Frontline, but really, after they work for us a few times, they feel like they're internal, if that makes any sense. So they have their own production companies, oftentimes just work for us, but sometimes they do multiple films depending on their company structure and model. And then internal to Frontline in Boston at WGBH, we have a digital team that is devoted just to publishing online, and they leverage our films as well. So there's a conversation happening at all times between the filmmakers and our digital team, which are journalists in their own right, doing their own journalism. But of course, we're working with our filmmakers. So there's a lot of times when you'll see this revolving door of work that we're doing in our films and continue to be reported on by our digital reporters. That's really exciting. And the senior editorial team is constantly thinking about, you know, when we're reporting on a really important issue, we can't just then leave it. You know, the film airs and then the story continues. I mean, look at any story that we've reported on in the last number of years. There's a long tail. And then increasingly, there's a tale before the film airs, and that's really what we're working on right now, is how do we continue to report ahead of the story as we're filming and as we're reporting? Have the film come, it lives online, it lives on the broadcast, and then continue to report on it. It's a lot of work for a few very dedicated, extremely talented people who work for us who are amazing. and. Honestly, we couldn't do anything without our digital team, and our audience team sits right next to our digital team, and they're journalists in their own right as well. So the people who do our audience development work, the people who do our social media, they're all people who have journalistic backgrounds. And so we trust them with the editorial mission of our show. We trust them to be talking to our audience in a way that's editorial, and that's when it really works. So we're convinced that the more editorial and journalistic we are, the more we resonate with, especially younger people who are all about having an authentic conversation as opposed to a sort of um, traditional publicity conversation in the social media space. So that's how we work, and we have an incredible media attorney, incredible editors, and just a very dedicated group of people, some of whom have been with us for a very long time, and then a lot of people who are new to us. So it's an exciting time at Frontline. 